Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making a delicious wild rice with sweet dried cherries and butternut squash side dish. Now this side dish is delicious any time of the year, but it's especially perfect during the holidays because it's beautiful and it's loaded with flavor. And it's also one of my favorites. And I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. I've got my heat set on medium high. And in this small Dutch oven, I'm going to put in my wild rice. Now this is not all wild rice. It's a wild rice blend. You can use any kind that you want. So I'm going to put in my rice. Now I already rinsed it really well and removed all that extra starch. You want to do that. And I'm going to add my chicken broth. See? Just like that. I'm just going to give it a light stir. I'm going to wait until it comes up to a boil. And then when it comes up to a boil, I'm going to lower the temperature to a simmer. And I'm going to let it simmer like that for about 45 minutes. So I'm going to replace my lid. And now we can go to the next step. So I just lowered the temperature on my wild rice blend. Now along with my wild rice blend, I'm also going to make some long grain white rice. I'm going to make this separate because it requires less time than the wild rice blend. So let's get to the stove and let me show you how I do that. I'm going to be preparing my long grain white rice in this skillet. And I've got my temperature set between medium and high. I'm going to add my rice. Now I already rinsed my rice really well, two or three times, and just made sure that it lost all its extra starch that it's got. So now I'm going to add my chicken broth. And I'm also going to add some chicken bouillon. Now, if you don't want to use your chicken bouillon, you can use better than bouillon, chicken flavored. But I really like the flavor of the chicken bouillon in here. I've got a little bit of thyme. I'm going to add it in here. Just give it a light stir. Very simple. And I'm going to replace my lid. And I'm going to wait until it comes up to a boil. As soon as it comes up to a boil, I'm going to lower the temperature to low. And I'm going to let it simmer like that for about 18 to 20 minutes. But I will be coming back at the 15 minute point to add some ingredients in here. And I'll see you then. So now that I have my wild rice blend and my long grain white rice cooking on the stove, I'm going to start on my butternut squash. Now in this bowl, I'm going to add my butternut squash and I cut it up into cubes about this size. Now that's why I love the butternut because it's colorful and super delicious. So I'm going to add my butternut squash into this bowl. So I'm going to add my olive oil, just enough to coat it really well. See? My pepper. You can add as much as you want. Some salt. And some brown sugar. See? Let's try that much first right there. I'll give you all the amounts and post them below in the description box. And I think that's going to be good. Now I've got some cayenne pepper right here. My Ron likes cayenne pepper in here because it gives it a little kick. Now you don't want to use too much, just a little bit. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit like this and that's good. And I'm going to toss it. I think I'm going to add a little bit more brown sugar. So it's going to be super yummy because your rice is going to be sweet and savory. And that's why I love it. Now I've got this small cookie sheet and I put a little piece of parchment paper here. But you don't have to. I just usually do that. I think it's a lot less mess. Then you want to spread it out. Mmm, this is going to be so good. Spread it out like this. See? Now you don't want to cut your cubes too tiny because they kind of disappear in the rice dish. So you want to leave them a little big but not too big either. Okay. So here it is. See? Now I've got my oven set at 400 degrees. And I'm going to put this in the middle rack for about 30 minutes. Now at the halfway point I'm going to take it out and I'm going to move them around, flip them around. Because you don't want them to get too brown at the bottom. And they're going to get caramelized and delicious. I'll show them to you. I'll see you in a little bit. So my white long grain rice has been simmering for about 15 minutes. I'm going to remove the lid and I'm going to add my cherries. See? 
these are my sweet cherries right there and I'm gonna add my golden raisins I'm just gonna bring them in together like this see now I do it at the 15 minute point because my rice still has minutes to go and I just want the dried cherries and the golden raisins to get a little hydrated just like that very simple I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it continue simmering for the rest of the minutes so it's been about 20 minutes and my rice is ready I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna set it aside now you don't want to remove the lid I'm just going to wait on my wild rice blend and my butternut squash, and then we're going to put it all together. So I'm getting ready to start on my next step. My long grain white rice is sitting by the side and it's perfectly ready. And so is my wild rice blend. My butternut squash is ready too. Now, before I start, I wanted to show you this brazier. This is where I'm going to get my rice put together. Now, as you can see, there's a light stain at the bottom like that. Now in my last video where I showed you how I clean my kitchenware, I told you how there are some stains in your Dutch ovens that won't come off because the enamel gets worn down. This is a good example of that. As you can see, it's got a little bit of stain at the bottom. I've already left it soaking overnight with bleach and water and it doesn't come off because I've used this just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. So I just wanted to show you that. Now in this brazier, I'm gonna add my butter. So I've got some melted butter. And I'm going to add my onions. I've got green onions and some sweet onions. I think you know that I like that combination. And I also have some yellow bell pepper. I'm going to put all that in there. And I'm going to put my roughly chopped pecans. See? And I'm going to bring it all in together like this. Look at the colors, how beautiful this is. I'm gonna move them around like this for about four minutes before I add my other ingredients. So it's been about four minutes. Mmm, and it's starting to smell delicious in here. Now it's time for me to add my garlic. See, I've got some minced garlic. I'm gonna give it about one minute. You don't wanna burn your garlic. So it's been about a minute and this garlic smells wonderful in here. Now it's time for me to put in my rice. Here's my long grain white rice. And now I'm gonna add my wild rice blend right here. And I'm gonna add my butternut squash. And I'm going to toss it together. Oh, look at how beautiful this looks. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. Continue tossing it together. So I'm going to replace my lid. And I'm gonna let it sit here for about one minute before I put it into my serving dish. Oh, look at this. Mm. So now I'm gonna put it into my casserole dish. Now for the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. The flavor of the rice with the chicken broth, the onions and the garlic in here. And then you bite into it and you get a burst of that sweet cherry and the butternut squash, sweet and savory together. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely heavenly. And look at how pretty the dish is. Can you see this on your Thanksgiving table? Now it's delicious any time of the year, but it's gonna be perfect for the holidays. So this is my wild rice with sweet cherries and butternut squash side dish. 
If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.